Howdy folks, welcome to another episode of the Weekend Angler. Today is August 21st, 2017, and in case you guys don't know, uh, most of the country is experiencing a total solar eclipse today. And where we're located at here in southern Illinois is pretty much ground zero. We are supposed to be in the darkness for the longest amount of time. So I'm at a little pond here in southern Illinois today, and uh, I've got my beautiful daughter Caitlin with me. And we are going to try to do a little bit of research for Mr. Gooding and try to have some fun and catch a fish while we're at it. So stick around and uh, let's see what we can come up with. So last night I was looking around and I found that a University of Missouri employee by the name of Eric Gooding has asked that uh, fishermen fish during the solar eclipse. Uh, since there's so many different methods of fishing, he's uh, trying to keep this scientific, conducting a study. And he has asked that all fishermen use live bait suspended below a bobber at a depth of two feet and that you cast towards the center of the body of water you're fishing. Well guys, the uh, time now is 12.20 p.m. and totality is set to occur at this area at 1.20 p.m. so we're going to begin fishing. We have rigged up with a bobber and a red worm, number six Aberdeen hook, a couple sinkers, and we're going to cast out towards the center of the pond here. And we will see if we get any fish. That didn't take long. Yep, we got our first fish. All right, our first fish is a bluegill at 12.24 p.m. He's flopping. He's flopping. He's flopping, isn't he? Can you say him hi? Give him a kiss. Right, should we throw him back? Tell him bye. <laughs> Say bye, fish. Bye, fish. All right, there's fish number one. We got to have another worm. Let me get the worms. Okay, I ran, I ran. Oh, here we go. So we go. I'm here. doing? I'm going to put a worm on this hook. This one? This, mm -hmm. this one? This one? I did one more. I did one more. You see a worm? Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Straight out to the middle. Hey, we'll see what happens. Well, maybe our one fish was a fluke. Do you think it was a fluke? Or you think we're gonna get another fish? One time. Just one time? How many fish are we gonna catch? One, two, three, four, five. Five? Okay. You think we're gonna catch five? I think we'll catch three. Huh? I think we're gonna get three. You think we're gonna get catfish? Uh-huh. You think so? I think we might be getting another bite. Yep. Fish number two. A slightly larger bluegill. Fish number two has also swallowed the hook at 12.36 p.m. All right, 
is fish number two. Small bluegill, 1236 p.m. And he's going back into water. And we still have enough worm left to get another fish. So we'll cast back out there. And we'll see what we come up with. Well, guys, the time now is 12.54 p.m. So that puts us in the neighborhood of about 25 minutes, less than a half hour till totality. And what I'm beginning to notice is I'm starting to see a lot of activity at the surface of the water. And uh, it's almost like you would expect to see at twilight, at dusk. Uh, you start seeing fish come up closer to the surface. I've got a lot of stuff working out there. I'm sure you guys can see it on the camera. If not, you just gotta trust me on it. I've got quite a bit of stuff working just straight out in the middle over there, there's some there, some there. So, uh, I think we're gonna start seeing some, uh, some bites. I'm wondering how this is gonna go at this point. So let's sit back, we'll, uh, we'll see what we got. And I'll update you if we get in. Right, guys, um, surface activity out here has seemed to really slow down in the past couple minutes and I'm sure you can tell at this point that we are losing we are losing our light rather quickly there is a tiny less than one percent of the Sun left and the time now is 1 20 p.m. we should be approaching totality it appears that I might be getting a bite but it's hard to tell there. There's a the last little bit there. I can't tell whether we're getting a bite or not. There is not much more sun left. I'm gonna pick up the camera. Oh, yeah, you see it? All right, guys, I hope, I hope that you guys could see this. This is, there we go. I really hope you guys are seeing this as good as, as I am right now. That is the moon covering the sun completely. And that is the corona, and that is the corona of the sun you are seeing. Now we should be in this. I'm sorry for my unsteady camera here. I don't know if you guys can see this or not. Let me get up there. There's the sun. I don't know if you guys can see it. But there's a star. And the well, Caitlin, that's the sun actually. That is actually the sun. Yeah. It's dark, isn't it? But it's not all the way dark. Look, I can see no pup. You see the the sun up there? Uh huh. Oh, oh, it's my favorite. And then the tide, my feet. Oh, oh, oh. There, there. All right, I believe we are. We are coming out of totality now. All right, 1.27 p.m. Stay back, get back up there by your chair. I'll bring the fish to you. That's a little one, isn't it? Yeah, hold on, I'll let you see him. This is fish number three. And he has swallowed the hook as well. I know what I am. Eat, eat the worm. Eat 
have one. So we will throw him back. We've got a fish. You have a big fish. Yeah, it's not a not a very big fish. A little bit. There's a little fish. Oh, you tell him hi. <laughs> you made me. Time now is 1.31 p.m. We just got fish number four. We've got another small bluegill. So we're going to toss him back. I like him. I like him. I liked him too. I like him too. Yep. <laughs> that's a little fish, isn't it? Right, guys, time is 1.43 p.m. This is fish number five, if you want to call it a fish. Here is fish number five. Little bitty bluegill. Now, guys, it is officially 2.20 p.m. And uh, it's been an hour since the totality of the eclipse. The majority of our bites did come after the totality today, but uh, all in all, I really can't uh, say that the eclipse affected the fishing more so than usual, but uh, we're going to get that data sent in to the University of Missouri, to uh, Mr. Gooding, and we'll see what, uh, what he comes up with. I'm actually looking forward to seeing what... Uh, kind of information he comes up with it is in his report from uh, fishermen throughout the uh, eclipse path but uh, as always guys I want to thank you for uh, watching my videos uh, if you like it hit like down there I appreciate if you subscribe if you're on a mobile device hit that little bell that'll let you know whenever I go live or whenever I post a new video to give you a notification on that and uh, guys take care we'll see you out on the water thank you for watching the weekend angle